can hi hey, guys general splatten here today what you're looking at this is a an unboxing of sedition wars as you see there uh, i participated in the kickstarter and those just uh, came out this week uh, i got mine two or three days ago i uh, should have did a video on it already but hadn't but here we go um comes in a big stuffed heavy box as you see here now this is just the first part of it uh, the miniatures that are not made yet will be shipped later on in the year so uh, this is what uh, they had ready to ship now so uh, uh, I hope you uh, guys participated in the uh, Kickstarter uh, it was a good deal and uh, just uh, nice to help uh, Mike McVeigh uh, he's, and uh, help him get his project off the ground so uh, big box as you see here here's my hand for scale uh, it is very heavy uh, five pounds or so so uh, let's see what's inside uh, great artwork on the box uh, showing the miniatures uh, everything that I've seen because I've been went through this before uh, is top-notch uh, first quality all the way around okay there's the lid now you get the uh, counters here uh, they're uh, good heavy uh, you get two of those uh, they're sixteenth of an inch thick or so the front no back to it and you get uh, two different sets of those now you get the uh, rule book it is in color it is uh, it's not uh, hardbound but uh, I'm having to do this sideways, so you have to excuse me. Uh, but it explains all the rules, the scenarios. Uh, excellent uh, rule book. Uh, very, like I said, very well produced. Nice glossy pages. So then we get into the tiles themselves, the uh, actual gaming tiles or gaming board pieces. Uh, very nicely done. Uh, they're also about a sixteenth of an inch thick. Uh, there might be a way to uh, get these uh, laminated so they would uh, last longer you don't get the fraying on the edges they're uh, printed double sides so you got a lot of different tile layouts or board layouts as you uh, game with them now let's keep going here you have uh, this as well different tile sections on the back really like the layouts they use you know a lot of ambience to it as far as you know the uh, yes you can imagine you're in a you know very dark uh, sequestered secluded part of the ship or station trying to uh, find out what's going on so uh, very well done nice color graphics on them I like the variation of them from uh, different sections the color choices I use like for I guess this is like a reactor room I think so uh, pretty cool and there are several of them as you see like crew quarters there so pretty cool what they did now we get into the heart of the box you've got the and I haven't looked to see what's what but uh, you get your dice then you get your cards I haven't opened the cards yet but uh, very well done as far as color and graphics and uh, explanation of things you get uh, the miniatures now I believe this is one of the, the that's one of the drone pod bottoms there I know but uh, your men I've been looking through them and uh, they you know they're plastic but uh, they look to be real cool this is the big guy I forget what he's called but uh, when it comes in two parts um, just saw the video where he put up about how to assemble it uh, really really cool uh, as it says a lot of fiddly bits <laughs> then you get the big bag with get what the tokens are for but um, they are done then the bases and really cool bases a lot of variation as far as uh, you know 
uh, decking so that you can paint them up a lot of different ways. So uh, looks really cool. Uh, and as you see, there's a lot of them in there. Another bag of uh, this is the strain. So a lot of um, I was looking through them, a lot of great detail. I mean, even though they're plastic miniatures, you know we knock plastic miniatures a lot, but these really have a lot of uh, detail to them and sharpness. I really like the way they came out. Got the green tokens here. So I like green, so that's cool. And then another big bag here as well. All the different arm pieces and uh, weapons that have to be glued on. Um, these will have to be... I don't know if uh, uh, regular um, model glue will work on these. Probably might have to use super glue. I'll give that a test one day and see. Uh, another big bag there. But that's not the end of it. No. Hold on just a second. They also sent this box in the other big box. That has, first of all, I got an autographed copy of the little poster for Sedition War. So, thank you, Mike, for that. For participating. Other dice, you got uh, blue dice there. They have, uh, for the sixes, they have that one. And then for the string, they have this one. You get an iron-on patch for, you know, like a bag or a piece of clothing. If you could put that on. Come on, refocus. There we go. More cards for uh, the troops. You see there a lot more bases. Uh, these are, I believe, the extra pieces that were come as, that came as uh, goals. That uh, once they hit that goal, you got extra troops and extra men and monsters. So there's that. And then the the special figure, I forget who it is, but uh, there it is as well. Look it up, up close so you can see some of the details. Come on, there we go. So cool figures. Looking forward to uh, getting into that, and uh, looking forward to see how the uh, game plays. But um, there it is. My first thoughts are this is going to be. Um, well, I, my first thoughts is it's very well produced and uh, a quality product all the way around. Uh, so stay tuned. Hopefully one of these days you might see some uh, actual gameplay <laughs> from this. Well, this is General Splatten. If you got any questions or want to know anything, just let me know. And I'll talk again. Dismissed.